Are you ready to master your makeup routine? Are you a beginner and you're just like, I don't even know where to start? Are you one of those people that you're just like, I don't want to have all this makeup in my house. I do not want to be buying all of these things, but I really want to look my best. Could it be, you guys, seriously, could it be that you could really narrow down to three or four products in your cabinetry, your makeup bag, and just absolutely nail your makeup. Okay, you came to the right place. I'm gonna reveal three products to you guys today that just completely transform. You're gonna see from the beginning to the end, and I really hope it inspires you. I really hope it clears some makeup myths up for you because there's tons of makeup myths out there and it really overwhelms the average person when she goes into the makeup store and she's just like, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to begin. There's this trend, there's this trend. And friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Brady Sharp. I truly am a makeup minimalist. With that being said, I love to look my best. I love beauty products. I love all products actually. I love beauty, I love fashion. But you guys, I have four kids. I have such a busy life too. I can't be beat Ever all the time. What three products would just transform your face? Like just give you a whole new look. And yes, you're going to have to do some work. So the first one I'm going to start off with you guys, and I'm doing a very simple application with you guys of minimal makeup today is concealer. So we're going to start with this. This is a thicker matte concealer. I'm going to go in and I'm going to start my concealer right in here. I always use concealer at the center of my face. I use the high coverage product at the center of my face always because as you guys can tell in this minimal makeup tutorial, I am going to work the very high potent product out into my skin and evenly distribute it. This is how I keep my products very minimal is I go in around my dark circle right here, which I do not want you to forget this spot up in here. This really helps you keep your makeup minimal. This is also just a very natural contouring method. And I'm also going to dab again, and I'm going to go in around my lip. This really helps keep my makeup minimal as well because I'm going in and I'm contouring that lip and as you guys can tell, my natural lip color is starting to pop already with that contrast with the lighter concealer. This is a very, very minimal makeup technique. This is natural contouring with a minimal product. This is a full coverage product, which a lot of you guys have been scared away from, but I am going to keep encouraging you, go back to them, use much less product. So as you guys can tell, now I'm going to take the other side of my brush just to keep everything super minimal. And I'm going to go in and pull out the extra product and press it down into my skin. So the product spreads to the other parts of my skin to just give me a very, very beautiful palette but as you guys can tell look at from the far and away you guys can see the difference of that inner corner of the eye the little brush really helps press the product down into your skin I want to share something with you guys that's kind of controversial it is a different bit of a technique and I just want you to try it at home see what you guys think works I'm going to go ahead and start moving over to the other side and we'll continue to chat about the controversy I'm just going to take the dab and I'm going to go in, see that nose, see me covering, contouring. This is true contouring and I'm going to cover, 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 conceal, conceal, conceal using one dab of concealer. The most common thing that's going wrong with concealer or full coverage products is you're using way too much product. Even the creams, the creams can set up on the fine line. That's just too much product. So I want you to go in around your nose. We want the center of our face to be the brightest part of our face. I'm going in with that tiny brush and pressing, pressing that product into those dark areas. 
and I'm just working, working that product into my skin. I'm gonna go around the lip. You guys are gonna see for minimal makeup just how my natural color of my lip, it's really plumping my lip. Also, it's, it's using illusion effects in makeup to really create that illusion. Okay, so as I pull back, you guys can see that the product needs to be spread out. And that's how I'm going to create that full coverage look with three dabs of product, literally. So I'm going to take the other side of my brush and I'm going to be pressing into my skin. So when you're using your brush, I want you to press in and down. Don't just gloss over it. You need to be pressing it in because we want the full coverage product to enter into the pore. Did you guys know? If you have full coverage products, they cover up your pores. They will go into the pore and they will create a matte like. It's the number one way to cover large pores is through full coverage matte products. Okay, so I'm gonna go in, keep spreading, keep spreading, because I have some broken vessels right there and I have broken vessels down here. This is a way for me to keep my products very minimal and also be experiencing full coverage. Um, now, with that being said, obviously I don't have acne, but you guys, I have broken bed, but you can still see them right there. Nothing is 100% com completely covered. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a larger buffer brush and I'm going to use the matte MAC full coverage powder. I'm just going to dab a couple times and I just kind of go around. And like I said, I do start from the center of my face and I just kind of pull out. And this just kind of mats out any lines, just really perfects it. Easy, easy, easy. I don't use too much. So a lot of the times when women complain about problems with their makeup, problems wearing makeup, oh, I don't like to see this. I don't like to see that. Literally, most of your problems are just going to be solved by using less product. Another thing you will see in my videos is I never apply product directly to my fine lines or wrinkles. This is a very helpful tip to stay towards the center of your face around your nose. Your nose has the least amount of fine lines and wrinkles. You can really use this as a palette to press and push everything out. I do not do direct applications over here because my skin is very delicate and thin right here. So, and you know, if I were to use a lot of makeup right there, you would really start to be able to see it. So I keep my products minimal. Another very great tip that I want you guys to hear, and it's controversial. This is truly a controversial tip. I found this from my social media. Using too much prep product actually hinders your coverage. I know that's counterintuitive. And not only that, a lot of makeup experts that are on YouTube, I had tons of people comment on one of my video and said, oh, the expert said this, oh, the expert said that. You guys, you guys are doing a lot of trial and error in your own bathroom. If your products are sliding down, I just want you to know you have too much products on. If your concealer is, if you're applying that concealer up in this corner right here and it is like watery and running around, you guys have too much product or your product has too much water in it, which that's fine if you like it. But if you're dissatisfied, I would go back to the drier matte products. And not only that, I would skip the prepping and putting the product on, putting product on before you put a full coverage product on. The full product, product this dry product, I'm not kidding you, will go straight down to that dark circle and that dark, and it's very dry and it will go in and just completely cover it and it will cover it all day. I have found, because you guys, I am an outdoor exerciser, I'm a golfer. And I have found that when I put my sunscreen on first and then I try to put makeup on or I do a lot of prep um, products before, I have found that my makeup will not go down into my skin. It's like creating a barrier for the full coverage product to penetrate down into the skin and actually really give me that bright coverage that I look for when I'm using concealer. Okay, I'm going to be looking into my mirror right here, but you guys are going to be able to watch from the side angle. I'm going to go in and add my lash extensions from home. These are going to last five days, and these just really keep all of my 
makeup routines, makeup minimal. This completely eliminates eyeliner. This completely eliminates eyeshadows. I apply the bond three different times, which I am not going to go into the full tutorial today because I have hundreds of other videos that do that. But I just really wanna focus on the minimal makeup concept because this completely eliminates mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadow, and I do still use a lash curler, which you're going to see because I'm going to show you the before and after of how transformative this product is. It's truly transformative and it's truly a minimal product. You are going to be able to apply it and this gets rid of hooded eyes. This gets rid of um, fine lines and wrinkles showing. This is literally going to shave five years off of your face immediately. Watch the results. You're not going to believe them. I'm going to get my tweezer. Lots of people have tried to do do-it-yourself eyelash extensions or lots of women watch and they say, I cannot possibly do this. Or women have went and got them professionally done and they say, there's no way that I can keep up with this maintenance. I hear you. I hear everything you're saying. And I just want you to know for you to figure out this thousands and thousands of dollar habit I just want you to know, there we go, perfect. I just want you to know that it is truly transformative. It keeps your makeup routine 100% minimal. So you're literally waking up in the morning and doing that quick concealer foundation routine and you are running out the door and it's absolutely transformative. I'm going to put this last one on and I will look at the camera so you guys can see and we can move on to the end result. So I'm gonna go ahead and look in here and I'm just gonna talk to you guys about the minimal makeup concept. And you guys can see from the side, I am going to do go in and do a couple touch-ups, but I just really want you guys to get the full aspect of minimal makeup and the power we're going to do one more product as I close out this video, but I just really, and I'm going to do my other lash over here. I just want you guys to see the transformation. This is no mascara. This is no eyeliner. I haven't even curled them yet. Just wait till I curl them because it's just going to take me up to this whole other level and we will finish with a beautiful lip and you guys will just have that full high level look and it was with minimal products. So watch till the end. Okay, so we got done with that other side. This is part of my minimal makeup routine. I'm going to finish off with a lip because I think the lip is the next most important thing that you should do some attempts with during the day just to have a really pulled together makeup minimalist look. Lips can really transform the look of your face and I personally like to use the concealer technique where I go underneath and I just really bring out you know, I, I, I um, really go underneath and you guys can just see that natural color popping. So we just really emphasize things that we naturally have. Not only that, when you use a high contrast concealer underneath there, you just create this illusion that the lip is so much bigger than it is. You guys just seen me do that. And this is not where my lip is. My lip is up a little bit higher. So it's about one fourth of an inch down away from your lip that I recommend you doing this. And you do really need a car tiny brush. Tiny brushes carve out and they press into tiny spaces. They create lines. That's the spot that I create underneath. Then I'm going to take the Super Stay Ink Crayon. I really like these because they last. And if you're a makeup minimalist, you don't like a lot of, um, you don't like messing with a lot of product. I want you to try this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on my lipstick Okay, and then I go and I over rub. That's what I want you to do. So I want you to take it and rub outside of the line of the lip. This is a super stay, so it's gonna last. So it's gonna be like a lip liner when you do that and use very small amounts of product. The number one thing, I'm going to repeat myself again, the number one thing that a lot of women are having is they use too much products. Use less that lasts, which is full coverage. This is very high pigmented and this is super stay. So this is gonna last most of the day. 
And even to make it more of a naturalist, I would use a lip balm with it, some kind of lip gloss, which I will put a little gloss on, and I will link the gloss too because the, the gloss has a tinge of color as well. And I just keep over smooching, okay? And it just creates this really natural line that your lips did. It's not something that you're doing with your They just keep getting bigger, okay? And that's with illusions of makeup. So I'm gonna take this other side. I'm just going to make sure this is pressed in because everything on camera shows up. That's honestly where I got most of, most of my methods, just so you guys know, just getting to know a little bit about me. I am a beauty and fashion blogger. Um, I work on Pinterest. I work on every platform, honestly, and me taking pictures and just learning what looks the best with the smallest amount of time. Um, I, I was a hairstylist and I worked in the salon for 13 years. Okay. And that's just going to last most of my day. Let's do a little bit of a pink blush. I'm going to use a fluffy brush and just to kind of give me some color to close out. So this is truly a minimal makeup and I'm going to take my videos and I'm going to work on camera like this for the most of the day. And this is high level imagery, you guys, with these products. So I truly believe in what I share and I'm going to be doing lots of minimal makeup. So make sure you smash subscribe. I have lots of things coming this fall that are going to be revealed and you're going to absolutely love it. So make sure you smash subscribe. Thanks for being here.